We end tonight with a kid from the Bronx who grew up to be one of the most powerful men in Hollywood. Gary Marshall died yesterday at the age of 81, and Anthony Mason has his story. Bonzi, my father's idea of being cool is leaving the top button open on his sports shirt. In his many successful sitcoms and films, Gary Marshall's trademark was always human comedy. No, 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 no. I tried once to blow something up. I don't blow things up well. Gary found ways to make you want to run to work. Director Ron Howard first encountered Marshall when he was a child star on The Andy Griffith Show. And Gary had been doing The Dick Van Dyke Show on that same lot. Did you know each other? Uh, I, I, I knew who he was. Marshall would later cast Howard in a sitcom he created set in the 1950s. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Launched in 1974, Happy Days would run for 10 years. Gary was the, the best boss I've ever had. He could lead a group of people to, to be their best selves. He did it again with a string of hits, Laverne and Shirley, Mork and Mindy, dominating prime time for more than a decade. He seemed to hit a nerve yeah. in this yeah. country. You know, he could have kept going as a dominant figure in television, he was, but he really wanted to make movies. On film, he gave us Pretty Woman oh. <laughs> and The Princess Diaries, and always mentored his actors. You want to go in and pitch a comedy to a network, Yeah. you know, in your pitch, just curse a lot. <laughs> And it worked. I sold a couple of pilots that way as a producer. Marshall was an actor, too, often That's playing the studio executives he made fun of. You know the words I like? I like the word peppy and the word cheap. Peppy and cheap. Any of us who were beginning to have some success in the business, he, he would say, just don't ever forget, life is more important than show business. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be important, Gary Marshall once said. Cut! It's more important to be Thank nice. You. Anthony Mason, CBS News, Hollywood.